Hey Rockstar Mamas, Tara here with Organic Birthing. This is part two in our series, I'm pregnant, now what? Um, today we're gonna talk about morning sickness and natural remedies that you can try to help with morning sickness. I know it's terrible. Ugh. It's probably one of the worst feelings that you get. Um, that just constant nausea, um, feels like your body is just hating you all the time, right? And it's really common. Um, so there are some things that you can try before resorting to some of the medications. So always, always talk to your doctor and make sure that all of these things are safe for you, that you're a good candidate, you know, um, everything has possible risks and side effects. So you always wanna be aware of that before you do anything during pregnancy or also remember during breastfeeding later. So <clears throat> one thing you wanna do, you know, very basic here, listen to your body. There are gonna be certain food aversions that you have. Um, there are gonna be certain smells and things that just set you off right and obviously you're gonna listen to that sometimes doing certain activities will get the nausea flared up right or working out a lot if you're somebody who's normally very active but now doing any type of working out will just make you really nauseous just take it easy all right stay away from those foods stay away from that activity Sometimes you have to not overheat yourself too, and the heat is what bothers you. You know, it's summer right now. I'm here in Arizona. That's hard to do. Uh, and I know I've been struggling in this pregnancy with nausea as well. So, you know, this is my fourth pregnancy. And I'm just gonna tell you, okay, because maybe this is your first one. Maybe it's not your first one, but just you need a reminder it gets better okay it does go away don't beat yourself up right now you will have plenty of time later to get back to that working out that you did um, to get back to being healthy one thing that's really common is to crave nothing but carbs and junk food when you're nauseous right and a lot of moms I think just really beat themselves up over eating nothing but junk at the beginning stages of pregnancy but don't don't beat yourself up if that's all that you can get down right now do it all right because there will be plenty of time later you've got nine sometimes ten months of this okay so you've got a lot of time to get back on the healthy bandwagon and get all of those good nutritious foods into the pregnancy later, okay? So don't beat yourself up. Um, try some of the carbs, some of the junk food. That's just what's easiest. If you can to try to make up for that, you know, try to take a prenatal vitamin, a really good whole food prenatal vitamin is great to have. Try to take it during the day at the point where you know that you're not um, usually pretty nauseous that day or whatever kind of helps take it right after that so that you make sure to keep it down but that'll at least make up for the lack of nutrition in the diet right now you can always try smoothies too sometimes smoothies are a really great way to get a lot of nutrition packed into them high protein you could do berries you could do you know green leafy vegetables I know you probably don't even want to hear about food right now but when you're not feeling um, nauseous and you're feeling all right try to drink some really nutritious smoothies and again that'll make up for it okay um, other things that you can do is eating lots of small meals throughout the day instead of big meals always trying to have something in your stomach a lot of moms would even keep some crackers or something right next to the bed so that if it hits you first thing in the morning you can just eat a couple of crackers and before you even get out of bed or move around too much because maybe that's what triggers it you know so get something in your stomach first thing in the morning um, also you can do peppermint and ginger are usually pretty nice for 
Um, helping with that, you can just suck on peppermints throughout the day. Or they have like ginger tea you can drink or even ginger candy. Um, sometimes you don't want that though. So it just depends on what you are okay with. Um, you can also do B6. Again, though, make sure you talk to your provider, you know, that you're a good candidate for that and to talk about dosage and what amount you should be taking. But B6 is um, a really great supplement that helps with nausea and morning sickness. You can also combine it. Um, there's a medication out now, but you can also do it yourself as long as you talk to your provider um, and combine B6 and Unisom. Um, so, you know, you could try that. Uh, the other thing is just make sure that you really research and ask your doctor for all of the possible risks and side effects that go along with any medication that you're taking. Some of these anti-nausea meds uh, really have some kind of scary <laughs> side effects when it comes to using it for pregnancy. A lot of them are used for other things, but during pregnancy, they can have effects on the baby, all right? So you wanna always make sure that you do your research, that you're well-informed, but you know, if it gets so bad that you just can't keep anything down, you're losing weight, you could get dehydrated because you just can't keep any water or liquids down, then yeah, maybe you need to think about taking some of those medications, you know, and the risk is worth it in that case because you're putting yourself at risk. So everybody's situation is different. You know, these are some things you can just try if it's still not working out or it gets worse, you know, check into some of the meds that your doctor can prescribe you. Um, but no, it does get better. It usually goes away after the first trimester. Um, it doesn't mean it's going to last that long though. Okay, so don't panic. It might not stay around that long. It can go away at any moment. And it's actually been shown to be a really good sign that baby's really healthy and the pregnancy's doing really well. So I know that's kind of hard to hear, but it's a good sign. And there's going to be a lot of things during the pregnancy that you can look forward to, that you're gonna love and enjoy, okay? So don't let this get you down. It's just a phase. You will get through it. Um, you just gotta figure out how, okay? All right, so if this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and like the video. If you know other moms that are struggling with this, please share it. Um, they need some help too. This might be a great thing for them to know if they haven't tried any of those remedies yet. Um, also, I will link below the blog post that this goes along with. Um, that's on my website, yogahypnobirthing.com. And you can check out the other videos and the other things that I post on I'm pregnant, now what? And check out the rest of the series. Subscribe to the channel so that you get the following videos on all those questions that come up after you find out that you're first pregnant. All right, and congratulations. Hang in there, and I'll see you next time. Bye.